Hello peeps and welcome back to Project Hospital. Welcome back to Traumatology. Yes, time for another episode of Traumatology. Since the last Traumatology episode though, um, I have been doing a little bit with Department of Infectious Diseases. So the hospital looks a little bit different again. Uh, what we've done is we have emptied out this area um, where the Department of Infectious Diseases was. Um, and we've uh, painted the outside of this. I have plans for that. And I've moved it into here. We've added an entire new floor here onto the hospital. We've put Department of Infectious Diseases here. And this here is where we're going to put traumatology. Um, and you'll see that we've now put surgery um, on the top floor. We've moved it up a floor. I uh, haven't quite decorated the garden yet, but we have doubled up the surgeries again. Really pleased to get these back because it is getting pretty busy up here and traumatology is certainly going to be making it even more busy um so what we have here um is a messy space that we need to clean out ultimately it should end up looking somewhat like this but for the moment it is a complete bleeding mess um so the first thing i need to do is remove everything from here and it seems what we are left with is one lone toilet like, yeah <laughs> oh my goodness that's embarrassing rose that's embarrassing and there's no sink to deal with it oh my god <laughs> she's gonna have complaints about that couldn't wash my hands no she didn't actually say that but surely that's what would be crossing our minds uh not to mention the fact that she was exposed to anybody walking off this lift anyway there we are so that's good the second thing is we need to put in the garden like these other wards um we actually have these little external gardens and i'm going to want to do the same uh for this uh building here as well good uh the next thing i'd like to do i think is to sort out this external brickwork that we have going on here um we're going to uh, use the same design as, as this one here um which is this one but our trauma uh tology department is going to be using this orange there we go um so let's pop that in there um we like to have the colors all in there lovely eh? lovely and now externally yeah it's it's looking it's looking as it should do the only other thing is that i would like to get another sky bridge in here uh going from here all the way across so that's the next bit and then i think that sort of major build work uh, done externally there we go i think externally we're, we're, we're sort of pretty much there there's a couple of little signs to go outside here but you can see we've uh, put the sky bridge on well, i've actually now done this garden so uh yeah looking pretty neat from the outside oh my goodness i'm so excited uh to be getting there with this hospital um so yeah traumatology then now i've never built traumatology before so this is going to be interesting uh we are going to take these two wards and see about adapting them if we go into traumatology we can see that they have a burn unit and they also have a high dependency unit uh, so this is replacing the regular ward so this will be um, interesting to see uh, exactly what is required for now though i'm just going to copy uh, these wards um, and then yeah we can we can adapt okay and that's the first step big paste job from another department uh, time to make it all sexy and relevant uh, to this department uh, so let's come into uh, management mode let's uh, flip over to uh, traumatology so the high dependency unit um, we can see we're going to want all across here it seems there's no visitation there from what i can see going to be doing all of this there we go seems to be registering that with no particular issue we're going to stick the nurses station in here um, we also have Leah yeah, over here uh, we also have a couple of restrooms there we go so it seems fairly happy with that but 
we can note that there doesn't seem to be any visitation here at all so what I can do is um, take out the visitation chairs here and then put some extra sofas in we'll do that in one moment uh, but let's come back in here and do the burns unit we're going to I'm sure need specialized equipment uh, for this um, yeah there we go um, again no visitation so I'm actually just going to pull this over into here as well uh, we will change these to restrooms there we go okay and we'll put the nurses station back in excellent right let's come back into build mode so what what is it that we need Ooh, there's all sorts we're going to need okay uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. It seems that we need to be pairing up the beds with different things, uh, life monitors and stuff. Good. We can do that. It's not a problem. Uh, one of the first things I'm going to do, I think, though, is look at redecorating the walls. Um, that needs doing. Also, I'd like to swap out uh, these stretchers. Um, so these are the old stretchers. And, of course, we've got new stretchers now. Um, I like to use a mixture of old and new stretchers, um, but all new departments going in are getting uh, the newer, the newer stretchers, um, which I like to have on this green. There we go, like that. Gotta love it. Got to love it. Uh, good. Now the only problem with the new bed that comes uh, with this department um, the high-tech hospital bed is you can't actually select a color for it now luckily these departments I do tend to have in blue so we might be able to use these beds for this ward only which I, I'm probably going uh, to do um, so yeah I guess uh, I shall get started so I've been redecorating um, just in the wards for the moment uh, so you can see we've we've got the orange coming in I've replaced the um, bedside tables can't really see them there can you uh, oops a daisy <laughs> picked that up and I didn't mean to replace the bedside tables um, with the new one that came with this DLC um, I like this bedside cabinet uh, much prefer it over the other. Uh, I suppose I would like to see these in some of the departments, but I'm definitely going to be sticking these in in others as well. Like the uh, observation unit, I think would be a really great place. Um, I think there's bedside tables in the observation unit. Do you know? I can't remember off the top of my head. Shall we have a quick check? <laughs> Let's have a look. There might not actually be. Uh, no, there are. There we go. Yeah. So I'm probably going to replace those ones. Uh, we'll see. Um, about other departments just not sure yet um, so that's good um, and we know that this is all functioning we need to staff it but it is all functioning so let's let's have a look at uh, this then so let's worry about uh, one space here um, so we can see that the windows and we haven't put the bed socket above the bed uh, we also have look a new fancy bed socket bed socket ca that can be attached to a hospital bed look at that whole fancy new one uh, whoops we've lost where we are uh, oh don't know don't know I mean I see these ones about the place I'm not sure I see the other ones first of all I think we should try and fix up uh, these windows I fixed them up on the other side but we can see here that I've actually shifted these bed sockets. Um, uh, so I might look at this on other wards actually, because if I can get this, mind you, I'm just thinking we're not gonna have bedside tables here, are we? So do you know what, forget that. I'm not actually, we, there must be a way that we'll be able to get a window in here. I would like a window in there. Let's Let's have a look, right, okay. Let's work this out. Um, so a sink, medicine cabinet and all that sort of stuff. Interesting. Um, so if I was to bring in this one, don't know where I would be putting it just at the moment. Although we don't have observation, right? I mean, visitation, no. So we do know that we can get rid of these and maybe what we could do is actually uh, block this off 
make it like a bit of a, a nurse area so they don't have any entertainment in here but stick a door in instead um, as like a place for them to keep all their meds and whatnot so let's stick a door on here let's uh, build this wall i think i've decorated the inside i have let's um we'll make this the staff wall on the inside which i use this color uh, for the staff areas there we go but we are going to want the outside to be the orange traumatology okay probably won't need that light in there um just get rid of that so let's see we are keen to get in a medicine cabinet i'll probably look we've also got a sa sanitation equipment they need a sink um, i'm gonna have to have a fiddle in this room let's uh, get rid of that light um like so I might put that over there good right it's looking a bit better isn't it so over here we need to be sticking in a life monitor and it seems and and a ventilator it seems we have a lot of life monitors these days look at that we've got four so um i think the original one with the game was this life monitor controls vital signs at 1600 doubloons and then also with the base game you got this one here the life monitor advance for 2000 um but we've also got the life monitor wall and life monitor and i know that i think one of them came with the last dlc and we've got another one here let's take all this away um because we're going to need a ventilator uh, so this one's 2000 and we've got this one at 1600 so i'm going to assume that this is the more advanced one um that's what we're going to do we're going to assume oops how did that get there wow okay so we're going to stick the life monitor there maybe the lighter blue might be better yeah okay sorry the ventilator now the life monitor which is the most expensive surely that would be the best one for the job so uh 1200 1600 1600 2000 so it still seems like it's this original one quite honestly that one still seems like it's that one but at the same time don't we want to take advantage of some of the new equipment i mean look at that it's so snazzy it's so snazzy do you not think and hold on a minute was that enough to deal with the entire department they only need one life monitor and one ventilation oh no look <laughs> i was about to say so even though they've disappeared from here it's because uh one bed is enough to clear this but the other beds aren't fully operational so i was about to say like that's it's a bit rubbish isn't it it means though that we might be able to yeah stick the window here and uh i think we might be able to put the new modern yeah look and i think what i'm going to do here as well is put in the high tech bed just for this department look at that so it's all the new equipment right um i still i can afford i think to put that back in i don't think it's blocking this life monitor so it seems we can put that back in that's working for us so i think this here is what i'm going to do for all of these beds now okay all right i believe that's all done now all the beds and everything in here have been uh, completely upgraded lovely um so i think that's these two wards ready to go oh let me sort out the visitation uh things in here for some sofas uh and then we can start working on getting this area sorted here we go looking pretty smart um and i've even uh, made sure to replace uh, the posters inside the diagnostic rooms uh, i've decided to not put in because i did note that there is a, a cardiography unit i've decided not to put one in i did consider putting one here but ultimately down at the bottom of this lift shaft uh, there's one here uh, through radiology that they'll be able to use and you can see here uh, low workload and none um, since I've uh, given the cardiology department their own um, 
there, although that says low and none as well. Uh, it seems to have resolved all of my cardiography issues, as you would imagine, I suppose. I mean, it makes perfect bleeding sense. Um, so the only other things left um, is going to be, one, the reception, which I've actually already done um, with uh, the, the, the jiggery pokery that went on here, and it will be this desk here. And I've made it look uh, like part of the emergency area because they share the same colour. Um, but then, of course, we need to put in um, a clinic. And I've, uh, in the Department of Infectious Diseases, I've been fiddling with the clinics. I've now got an internal medicine one here and infectious diseases one here. Because even though I frequently have two, they, they are often not really used. Um, so, medium... Uh, that's general surgery in the day and then I put the nighttime one in the other office you see that was low uh, medium none <laughs> um, and I was finding the same thing with internal medicine and with uh, neurology and also orthopedia and you can see here orthopedia is just at low you know with with just the one office um, so I've been whittling some down to just one um, clinic room however um, you can see here we've got high, high, medium, medium for the emergency and uh, it, it doesn't take much to see these hit critical either. So with neither of these clinics now in use, I thought it might be nice to make one of them um, the new traumatology clinic and the other to be um, emergency. Um, just so we can expand this by one clinic. So that is uh, my next move i think i'll make this the emergency one because we've got a toilet for emergency over here um although they are shared rooms so it probably wouldn't make any difference all the same uh i'm going to make this toilet trauma i think uh yeah okay let's get cracking but there we go they're both in um so we'll see here that this is now the fifth uh room i'm wondering if i should number this three <laughs> um but it's the the fifth room look look they're all three four they're they're all maybe i should rejig these numbers a bit they're a bit weird now that i've added that room uh so yeah might might have a rejig maybe we should go like one two three four five. Oh, that would still make this five either way um and then uh this is going to be the traumatology room here um i guess somebody's currently going in that toilet the door is open um yeah and i've made the chairs red to match over here but this whole waiting area just in this little nook here is entirely traumatology uh so next um of course oh and it seems to be functioning it seems to be happy with all the equipment that's in there so there doesn't seem to be anything particularly special in terms of equipment in the clinic um i've used the same equipment as i do in emergency and it's it's not prompting me to change anything so that's pretty cool um good right now time to start employing masses of staff Ooh, look, we have a doctor, clinic doctor that examines, diagnoses and treats patients specialised in traumatology. Look at it, look at it. Um, so picking a doctor here for um, daytime, I'm going to want doctors that have advanced diagnosis. Um, so we are going to be spending a little bit more. I always like to see the traits uh, up front. Um, so what have we got here? See, works uh, uh, does not take... At free time breaks uh, we looked at the um, potential pitfalls of that because it is considered a bit of a negative uh, uh, trait um, and why that is in the last uh, episode that I did of Department of Infectious Diseases we sort of covered the problems with that one um, but we do get it a lot look we've got it here as well um, they're often late so it's off-putting um, they're expensive but they do have advanced diagnosis, no perks at all. Be, what would be really great here is to get um, members of staff in the clinic that don't cause discomfort during examinations. I mean, that would be ideal, um, but uh, I don't want to be flipping through these all day. Like this one here, uh, oh no, that's 20% bonus experience. No, not interested in that. Um, do you know what? We'll take this one. But yeah, that would be a really good uh, perk for this one. Uh, doesn't uh, cause discomfort during exams, uh, examinations, uh, for sure. Right, let's whip up here. We went straight past it. Oh, that's another thing, isn't it? I think I've already set, I have, look, I've already set up surgery. 
when I was rejigging all of that. Right, uh, so what do we have in here? Well, first of all, let's have a look. Ooh, I mean, it, they're exactly the same. It's just that it's nice seeing the little flame everywhere, <laughs> everywhere we go. So we are looking for a good boss of the department, Chief Doctor. We don't have one yet. Um, so I am looking for that. We have skipped past a couple, but now we're actually in the right area. Again, these these doctors in here, these, these are going to be my diagnostic doctors that work in here and look after the patients on the wards. Uh, these are, uh, are really great doctors, again, to have that does not cause discomfort during examinations. Um, so some, when I've got the time, I will uh, look for that trait in uh, some of these doctors. Uh, good boss. So that's absolutely fantastic. Um, the rest levels decrease slower. Um, now they do wash their hands three times when they go to the toilet. So that's the only thing about germaphobe. So they take longer to go to the toilet, but I don't mind that. That's absolutely fine. Um, now, Rachel Taylor, I'm actually going to move her into here because this is where I like to keep the boss of the department in like this, this sort of separate little office that you can see here. Um, so, um, we're going to pop her in there. We're going to take her off assisted surgery. I don't want her to work in surgery. Get over it, game. Um, and we're going to make her the chief doctor. Look at that. Supervisor. Fantastic. And because she's got this good boss, um, she'll just give a big uh, uh, happiness boost to all those working on the department, along with other perks. So that's, that's pretty great. Um, so let's get the rest of the uh, doctors in. So just to get us started, I've gone for two in the day, two in the evening. Um, now this is where I like to keep in this and this bank here. This is where I like to keep uh, my transfer nurses uh, that do nothing but transfer patients from A to B. So we like them to be as cheap as humanly possible. I don't want them to have, you know, medical surgery. It makes them more expensive. So we're looking for nice and cheap. Um, and if we can get the rocket symbol, uh, all the better. Certainly avoiding this slow one. Gone for three transfer nurses. Um, none, of the, none of them particularly great and none of them particularly bad. Um, so, but they're all fairly cheap, so that's good. Um, but over here, I'm going to want to get um, nurses that have a clinical nurse specialist. Clinical nurse specialist is capable of revealing appearance of pat patient symptoms. I like to have those on the wards. Um, uh, I think that's good. And they just do the patient care um, for everybody on the ward. They specialise in it so they don't get distracted by um, doing transfers and whatnot. Plus, I don't mind spending extra on them if they are great and we just take them off of transfers like these nurses we've taken off of patient care these ones i take off of uh, transfers um, so we're going to get one on each ward day and night so that's those four nurses in really really pleased really really pleased got some janitors already um, and then up here we need to get in a surgical team for now i'm going to start with one surgical team during the night and one uh, in the day, of course, um, uh, and we'll play the department a bit, you know, to sort of see how things go, really. Um, but let's let's get the surgical team going. So first of all, we are going to need two surgeons. So trauma surgery. I like to see the perks. Uh, what have we got here? I mean, extra talent for diagnosis isn't really here, although we've got a couple of alcoholics, people who are late to work, not really feeling it, not feeling it, guys. Um, look, does not cause discomfort during examinations. All of a sudden, they're like really great for downstairs, but I don't, I don't want to, um, uh, them to have trauma. You know, it's a lot to spend on a cleaning doctor. Um, also, they've got this hard work again. Now, that just means they're more likely to get really tired by the end of their shift, which when they're a surgeon means they're going to make a lot more mistakes. It's just, it's really off-putting. Whereas this guy, Frank Young, uh, all needs are reduced much slower. And we also have germaphobes. So he'll wash his hands three times, but I don't mind that. So what we're going to do, we're going to turn him off diag diagnostics. Keep him at cyst at surgery and surgery. That's what we're going to do. And we're going to do the same again uh, with this doctor when we've uh, found who that's going to be. 
oh my goodness, which is going to be this doctor because they're amazing. And then we also like to have an anaesthetist as well. Uh, well I mean, we have to have one, uh, <laughs> but uh, we also like them as well. Uh, we've got a great nighttime anaesthetist here. What I'm going to do is just employ them. Um, come in and change them to night, take them off of diagnostics and assisted surgery just so they do that purely um, and try and find try and find one for the day like this one fabulous uh, there we go um, so going to need to get some uh, the same going for the nighttime team in fact what I might do is move Karen Cole over to those desks and I'll get some surgeons over there for the night uh, same though with nurses of course we are going to need two daytime surgical nurses um, so let's get those employed I don't like any of these let's have a cycle um, okay uh, gives nice staff modifier okay sure um that will do me turn off patient care and transfers we're going to do the same uh, again over here um, let's have a cycle through what have we got germaphobe sure fine okay uh we'll, we'll have them as well okay and i need to get a couple of nighttime uh, nurses for here also perfect there we are so all the departments are now in and uh, I'm looking forward to some uh, illnesses coming in for this department. We'll take a couple uh, for this episode just so we can see a couple of things happen. But in the next episode of Traumatology, we'll, we'll find, we'll cover lots, lots coming into the department. Um, but morning is here, so we should have uh, some uh, peeplings arriving. Would, I'd love to see some of the problems coming in. We've had Charles uh, come in. Uh, I saw him come in and he was looking ropey as anything. A bit like this lady here. And uh, <laughs> I was trying to take control of him. But before he even got to reception, he went into not feeling too good exhaustion. Walked in and collapsed. <laughs> and he actually made his way to here to collapse as well, which is uh, nice. And uh, look, breaking news. A particularly strong heat wave has hit our city. Large numbers of people are falling ill with dehydration. Oh, that's exhaustion. And breathing problems. Local hospitals should be prepared to deal with more of these uh, cases than usual. I am also going to accept and take over control of all patients just because that's what I do. That's what I do. But look, uh, let's stick with Charles here. I've also uh, got a, a slightly lesser case, although saying that she does have a pulsating symptom. Look, she has got her arms crossed, um, but she's going to the clinic. She's going straight in um, to the clinic there. Uh, she's different department. <laughs> Charles has made it. Look, he is here. Ooh, look at all these things and stuff. Okay, well, first of all, let's give him the IV infusion for his exhaustion. Uh, we're going to do that first. Uh, indeed, we are. Then we can um, give him the old physical. Uh, see if we can see anything visually with him. Margaret here has uh, had an interview. Okay, we've not found much. Uh, so again, let's do the, the physical. Um, how many? Oh, we've got quite quite a lot of options. But the fact that she's coming to traumatology probably means that it will be a traumatology one. Um, so they're the ones we're going to be looking for. And uh, I'm new to these illnesses. So, you know, I don't necessarily know uh, what to do. I guess, oh, look at this. Hospitalize the patient at a burn unit with special care. Oh my God, I want to see all of this in action. Assuming there's going to be new symptoms and all sorts going on. Oh, Charles. Ch oh, oh. <laughs> okay. He wasn't traumatology at all. Uh, he needs to go to infectious diseases. Okay. Oh, he's got orifice bleeding. That's not nice at all. That's not good at all. Okay. Well, he's, he's not our problem anymore. <laughs> <gasps> Look, a new thing. Margaret Moore has radiation dermatitis, um, also known as x-ray dermatitis, is a side effects of radiation therapy. Okay, right. 
look, necrosis. Oh my good. Oh my goodness, that's not good. <laughs> Premature death of a tissue caused by its own enzymes. It occurs when too little blood flows to the tissue. This can uh, this can be caused by this can be caused by an injury. There's a typo there. Uh, radiation or chemicals. Necrosis cannot be reversed. <gasps> um, so is this where we have to uh, put new skin on and whatnot? What's this? Um, medical removal of death tissue. Yeah, but don't we have to protective dressing? Look at this stuff. Protective dressing. Um, bandage protective. I mean, we we all we've all seen that sort of stuff, haven't we? Oh my goodness. Okay, right. Okay, right. Uh, oh, look at this symptom. New symptoms. Blisters. Oh no. Blisters. That's what we would want the protective dressing for. Um, dark skin, protective dressing. Then, of course, oh, this comes from evaluation. Look at that. Um, I might do. Oh no, pigment changes comes from evaluation. So we might uh, get them to do an evaluation while we're here. Um, oh, we've done the physical though. So there's no. There's no dark skin. We've not found any blisters. We've got burn wound. A burn wound caused by heat, cold, electricity, chemicals, friction, or radiation. Affects skin or other tissue. Uh, the, uh, we've got the necrosis here, which is uh, what's uh, causing the potential close to death business. Uh, we've got swelling. What's this one here? This is new. Uh, also known as peeling skin. Ah, yes, is shedding. Uh, of the outermost layer of the skin. Oh yeah, like like after we've had sunburn and stuff. I guess like that, right? Um, itching. Yeah. Okay. Redness. Right. Okay. Good. Uh, well, not good. It's horrific. But let's <laughs> let's first of all do the evaluation. Let's see if we've got any of these pigment changes. Let's do that. Okay. Now we do. Okay. We do indeed. Well, before we do anything about any of this, I think we are going to rush her in um, to get this debridement. Is that how you say it? And then we've got necrosis burn wound. Right, okay. Now, necrosis. Um, we know we need this. So this can be done. I'm wondering, does she go to the burn unit at traumatology? Yeah, so it says... Office, diagnostic unit, burn unit, a traumatology, ICU or the trauma centre. Okay, so they'd be able to do it in both the top emergency places as well as, yes, going to the burn unit. Um, so we're going to send her there and arrange for this instantly. That's what we're going to do. And then we'll worry about the other bits and bobs. Okay. Okay, Margaret. We've got you. We've got you, Margaret. Uh, except you will have to walk yourself there. <laughs> Ooh, look at Christopher Allen. Thermal burn of a leg. Oh, wow, we know all the symptoms already for this guy. Look, and we've actually got all these things lined up. Stop all that, stop all that. Look at all these discomforts. Um, so the first thing, burn management. Ooh, medical procedure to cure various types of burns. Um, so... Again, I think he needs to be hospitalised for this in the burn unit. Looking at those details there, but let's just let's just double check, eh? Nope, right there in the clinic. They did it right there in the clinic. So that might have actually been the case for Margaret. I've misread that. I mean, it does say office. Um, so yeah, she might have actually been able to have that right here. To be honest. Anyway, we've sent her to the burn unit all the same. Um, okay, now he's had his burn management here. Um, we can see, I mean, we could send him home now, but look at all this. Look at his discomfort. He's in a lot of pain. He's got severe leg pain. He's unhappy about the dark skin. There's all sorts that he's unhappy with. Um, so one of the things that we can see there is this uh, burn wound, which is causing double negatives there. Um, and uh, so what we're going to do is, I've noticed that this course is double negative as well. So we're going to do emergency care for this burn wound. Uh, that should help improve this. Doesn't seem to, doesn't seem to be, but she is now doing the emergency care. And emerging, emergency care, to be fair, isn't a new thing. Um, but yeah, the burn management didn't seem to be anything special or in particular. 
Now we're not ready to send him home yet. Um, he's still in a lot of pain. So we're going to give him uh, some painkillers uh, for that severe leg pain. But don't we need some protective dressings? We do. We've got blisters. You see, we've got blisters. We've got dark skin. So we're going to put that protective dressing on. That new thing. I think she's put a bandage on his leg and that we can actually see it. But I can't actually see things in this room. <laughs> Maybe when he walks back for his protective dressing. Here we go. Here we go. Look. Yes. He's got a bandage on his ankle. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so he's coming back over here now for his protective dressing. Now, this is a, a new a, a treatment. So is there a new animation for this? He seems to take his shirt off, but I think it's his bottom half, isn't it? Because it's his leg we're doing, right? Okay, he took nothing off. Now, it doesn't seem to be anything particularly uh, new there, but still, you know, it is a new treatment that we've uh, found. And his comfort is going up all the time, guys. Um, so what else? What, what? Some steroid cream will help make him feel better. I can't make him feel better about the burn management or the emergency care. That's... I cannot improve the, the discomfort he's experiencing uh, with those. The ice wrap and the recommendations won't help um, that at all. So I think this is the most that we can do for Christopher. Um, but pretty exciting. Uh, I, it's nice to see some new, some new things. Look at them. They're all building up out here. It's like as soon as you open a new department, they send everybody <laughs> to that department. Uh, they really do. There we go. So that's that's him. Oh my goodness. Um, next. <laughs> Look at Margaret. Look, she's on the Burns unit. Yay. That's kind of cool. Um, discomfort is uh, really, really quite low. This burn wound again. Emergency care should cancel out, but we noticed with the other one that it, they just have the same amount of enormous pain. So I'm not sure... Um, it's the best way to go, uh, to be honest. Um, but we need something to help improve their comfort. Um, I mean, there's some mild, look, there's some low discomfort in putting on the protective dressing. So, you know, there's nothing there. Nothing is going, she's got no complaints that's going to help increase. And then I've got none that have a positive effect on discomfort here so now I'm not going to be able to improve that I mean we'll see if the emergency care cancels out the burn wound but if Christopher was anything to go by it won't yes yeah, so seeing lots of new interesting um, examinations and symptoms and treatments that we can do uh, really looking forward to uh, delving deeper into the new illnesses and that that are coming in uh, via this new department which we now have or oh, built in look they look so smart now we, with uh, the department of infectious diseases and traumatology all packed away neatly inside the hospital um, and of course we've gained uh, back all of our surgeries i'm so pleased and we've expanded it as well uh, so that traumatology has surgery which is nice um we shall look at my plans for this space but i'm not in any uh, major rush uh, to do this i think we should have some more fun uh with the new traumatology uh, department first if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thank you to all my patreons for their continued support